These companies have pledged not to use appeal. Hi, I'm Robin Openshaw, the Green Smoothie Girl online, and I'm on a quest to figure out how you and I can support companies who refuse to use the toxic appeal preservative coating that the North American public is now becoming aware of, and how we can push back and get retailers to refuse to sell produce sprayed with the invisible coating used to make produce last longer. I've previously covered this product as containing five heavy metals and two toxic petrochemical solvents, even if Appeal Sciences will tell you, if you write them, only that the product is made from grapeseed, which is greenwashing at its worst. Plus, you can't wash the coating off. So what are we supposed to do with, for instance, greens and berries sprayed with Appeal? Just stop eating the healthiest foods on earth? Driscoll's, a 79-year-old brand and the largest berry company in the world, recently wrote this email to a friend of Green Smoothie Girl telling her that they are not using appeal and do not intend to. I wrote Driscoll's to thank them for this commitment to not tainting the berries we eat with poisons, and I told them that my business would now be going to them versus other brands. I hope you will do the same. Here's the email address to write Driscoll's. If you don't want your food to be poisoned with a toxic preservative, we all need to write and call these companies and be heard on this subject and also vote with our dollars. I also wrote Costco asking them if they would please carry Driscoll's brand of berries and asking them if they are selling produce sprayed with appeal. And I got the runaround. After attempting to use their online chat and being unable to find any emails online for people in charge of produce distribution, I started making some phone calls. Here's the name and phone number of a Costco employee who is the produce manager for the Southwest region of the company. I left him a detailed voicemail about appeal or ed appeal and told him why I'm concerned about this toxic coating on many produce items and asked for a call back. I have not heard back from Frank at the time of making this video and I have called and left a second detailed message for him telling him that I appreciate knowing which Costco produce is and is not sprayed with appeal. I highly recommend being very polite in your emails and phone calls. You'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar. I think we may see some progress in major retailers refusing to carry appeal-coated foods only when many of you contact them. I've also called all the produce managers at each of the three grocery stores we shop at. Expect to, to have to explain what appeal is to the employees you talk to. Expect to have them tell you that they don't know anything about it. Expect the runaround, expect passing the buck, expect produce managers not returning your calls, but whatever you do, please make phone calls every day until you get answers. Ask employees you do talk to for the email address of the produce manager. This is worth your time and mine. I want to eat potatoes, greens, berries, vegetables, and fruits, and I do not want to eat petrochemicals and heavy metals, and I don't think you want to either. I would like to ask you to take these steps, and I'd also like to hear from you if you get responses to any outreach you do to various companies. Just write us at support at greensmoothiegirl.com with screenshots of companies' responses, and I will do another video like this. This is what I wrote to the CEO of Costco, Craig Jelinek, because I wrote him about mask mandates in 2020, and he responded, defending the mandate, of course. You can write him, too. Here is his name and email address. In Utah, a privately owned chain of six health food stores called The Good Earth recently put this statement out saying that they would not be carrying produce sprayed with appeal, or at least it appears that's what they're saying. I have given lectures at The Good Earth stores many times, and they have also refused to enforce mask mandates in 2020 and 2021. So I hope everyone in Utah will support them with your dollars, as well as contact them about appeal. We are running very short on privately owned businesses that care about their customers. The billion-dollar companies like Costco, Amazon, Target, and Walmart have driven most of the privately owned businesses under. You can see for yourself the difference in responsiveness of the small businesses versus the billion-dollar public companies. I know you care about this issue of appeal being sprayed on even our organic produce like I'm concerned about it. We should have the right to see whether the produce we buy is sprayed with appeal. Currently, they can put the appeal or ed appeal label on the food item or not. We should speak up to the brands we buy from. We should thank the brands like Driscoll's and Natural Grocers and The Good Earth, who have made the commitment to keep appeal sprayed foods out of the produce we buy. We should relentlessly write and call Costco, as I know most of you rely on them to feed your family. 
If you use their chat, they may tell you that they know nothing about appeal, but they will if you write them, and they'll advise their superiors if they're hearing from many of you on this topic. The appeal issue is not an argument to eat animals instead of plants, because if they're right out in the open selling human beings preservative sprayed produce, you can bet that appeal sprayed produce is also being fed to livestock. And we already know that meat and dairy products contain concentrated levels of the steroids, antibiotics, hormones, and those other injectable products that start with V fed to the livestock. Please take similar steps and share this video so that all your friends contact produce managers as well. Every employee you talk to helps this cause. If your food sources don't hear from you, then they take it as your tacit acceptance of these products. Thank you for following Green Smoothie Girl and for sharing this video.